Good afternoon, I'm Jan Hichu and I'm just going to show you as an introduction how to download the IASBE program that you'll be using in CPD 740. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is, as you can see, I've installed it already, but I'll just show you where to download it. It's very simple. You go online and you search IESVE or you go to IESVE.com and you'll get to this kind of landing page. You're welcome to look through the landing page. There's lots of information that they're sharing. It's one of those, one of the number of newer programs that really try to um, both educate and provide the software. So you're really welcome to have a look at that. You will go to software and the, there's a number of routes to follow, but I just simply click on download. Um, and you'll see that there's a, a few programs you can download. There's called IES for Students, which is you can purchase it now at a discounted rate. We do have 50 licenses that are available on campus and we through a VPN um, procedure that will also share the information with you. You can use it remotely so we can accommodate 50, 50 students using the program at once. Um, so that should be sufficient. But if you're interested, you're welcome to, to purchase the program. Um, in 2019, it was available for 1,000 Rand per student. I think it wouldn't be much more expensive, really. For them, it's important that you start using it. But in order to start, you need to click on Download. So you download the IES Virtual Environment Program. As you click on it, you'll see there's a, a few additional information available. There's the installation instructions. Um, that you can read through as well, some software requirements. And quite simply, you click on download and it'll start downloading. Now, there's one step that you would not have experienced now, and I think it's because I'm logged in. So should I, let's just assume that you haven't logged in. Um, you will then, if, once you go to download and you say download, you will see that it will ask you to log in or register. Now, this is an important step. Um, I have asked that you that you fill in the Google form beforehand that, I've, that where I've requested both, well, I've requested your name and, and surname and student number, but also your email address that you'll be using. Um, and the important thing there is use the email address that you're typically using, the one that we are going to register you under, so to give you access to the software and through the VPN. And that's the same um, email address I'd like you to use when you sign up. So if you're using your text email address, you just use it consistently all the way through. If you're using a, a private Gmail account and, or whatever the other account could be, it could be anything, um, you can use it. I find if you use a text, it's, it's actually the best way to manage your, your software. Um, so you'll have to register. You don't have to pay to register, it's just simply registering. You then get to this page and you can download the, the, the EXE file. Um, usually the EXE file is then located, if you use Google, it's simply down at the bottom. Um, or if you go down to downloads, you'll also see the, the setup file being available there. You can simply click on the setup file and it'll start um, installing. Just to be aware that, um, and I've already installed it now, so I'm not going to read really reinstall it. Um, what to be aware of is that the, the IES program consists of a number of smaller programs that it manages. So you're going to install not a single program, but there's going to be possibly four or five little programs. It's all part of the wizard, so don't worry. You, need, you don't need to find other programs. You simply just say yes, accept, and it runs all the way through. But just to be aware, you're going to be installing a number of smaller programs that ultimately um, results in a, a larger package in the end that you have. I find that I simply just installed it under the program files folder. I don't think it's anything new or different. You can simply install it and you'll see in the end that it is available in your app, on, on Apple or Windows. And um, there it is. You can open it. You're going to start with a trial version that will be available for a few weeks. But again, if you use the VPN, which we're going to share the information for you, with you, then you'll be able to log on online, register the program, 
and then it runs on your on your computer. So the only thing to be aware of is you do need internet access, not consistently or constantly, but you need it when you log into the program. You'll need to use it. Um, once you log in, then it actually all runs on your computer, which I find is a very very safe um, and, and and stable way to use um, performance assessment programs. Um, yeah, so let's get started with that. And we will, the next video or PDF document will show you how to install the VPN through which you can access the servers on campus remotely. And then that should allow you to, in the end, access the program. So you'll see, I haven't got it installed yet. And I get to this, um, the, the, this mission to the end. Once I've got it installed and ready, then I will show you how to do it. See you.